Commander Legends has brought a host of cool new legendaries to the format this year, with so much new potential for us to explore. And with many of these new legendaries having the partner mechanic, the number of combinations you can assemble in your command zone is nearly limitless, since there's now so much potential for unusual combinations and synergies. Thanks to all these new partners, we're going to take a look at a pair you might not have considered. This gruel-colored combo pair of Kadama of the East Tree and Togo, Goblin Weaponsmith. This video will not only show you how this partner pairing can create power-filled combos, but what tools you can use to defend against the rest of your playgroup who will likely consider these two commanders a threat that needs to be destroyed on sight. But first, a quick word about this video. This video is brought to you by Ridge, makers of the amazing Ridge Wallet. Magic the Gathering players are all about value, aren't we? Optimization, and let's be honest, a little bit of bling. Well, Ridge Wallets offer all that and more, and now you can get 10% off your order today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com forward slash community college. That's ridge.com forward slash community college and use code community college or just click the link in this video's description. Ridge Wallets hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for life. And hey, look, not much larger than a stack of magic cards, but unlike those magic cards, the Ridge Wallet is completely flat. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they're going to let you try it out for 45 days and just send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. That's zero risk and a price and function that's hard to beat. Ridge. One of the most powerful new legends from Commander Legends is Kodama of the East Tree. This six mana, six six spirit has reach and partner, but it's the rest of the text that's so eye popping. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. What's nuts about the wording of this ability is the phrase equal or lesser converted mana cost. Most cards of this type tend to be worded lesser converted mana cost, which typically makes it harder to chain multiple triggers into a loop you can run over and over again. Think of the abilities of Scrap Trawler and Aura Skyclave Hierophant, which have triggers that only let you get back something from your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. But for some reason, Wizards R&D juiced up the power level of Kadama of the East Tree by adding that crucial word, equal in the ability. Combo fans rejoice. They even put another new partner commander in Commander Legends that can help Kadama combo off. Togo, Goblin Weaponsmith. Togo reads, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a colorless equipment artifact token named Rock, which reads, equipped creature has, spend one mana, tap, Sacrifice Rock. This creature deals two damage to any target, and an equip cost of one. Having two pieces of a three-card combo sitting in your command zone provides a powerful consistency that is sure to overwhelm many casual commander tables. So make sure you only take this out for a spin with players who want to play hard ball. So what exactly is required to combo off with Kadama and Togo? So how does this work? Assuming you have Kadama and Togo both on the battlefield, you play Gruel Turf as your land for the turn. Kadama, Gruel Turf, and Togo all trigger. Put Kadama's ability on the stack first, then Togo's ability, then Gruel Turf's ability. Gruel Turf's ability will resolve first, so use it to return Gruel Turf to your hand. Togo's ability resolves, creating a rock token. Kadama's ability will trigger from the rock token, so you can put a permanent on the battlefield that has converted mana cost equal to or equal to or less than the rock token, which has a converted mana cost of zero. Gruel Turf also has a converted mana cost of zero, so you can put it on the battlefield with Kadama's ability. Gruel Turf, Kadama, and Togo's abilities will all all trigger again. 
creating the loop for as many times as you want. An infinite loop, one might say. Green has many ways to go and fetch one of these bounce lands to get things started. Sylvan Scrying is a two-mana sorcery that lets you search your library for a land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Crop Rotation is an instant for one green mana. Sacrifice a land, search your library for a land card, and put that land onto the battlefield. Hour of Promise is a five mana sorcery that lets you search your library for up to two land cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped. And of course, green has many other options in addition to these to get the grounds that you want to stomp off with. Once you assemble the combo, you will need a payoff. And one way is to take advantage of landfall triggers, since you'll be able to play that bounce land over and over. For example, Avenger of Zendikar is a popular and powerful creature. When it enters the battlefield, create a 0-1 green plant token for each land you control. Its landfall trigger puts a plus one plus one counter on each plant you control. Zendikar's Royal is an enchantment, and its landfall trigger creates a 2-2 elemental token. Retreat to Kazandu gives you a choice of either putting a plus one plus one counter on target creature or gaining two life. So you'll be able to make all of your creatures gigantic and gain so much life your opponents will need to kill you with commander damage. What about the rock tokens that Togo is creating? You can always cash them in to Krark Clan Ironworks, an artifact that lets you sacrifice an artifact to add two mana to your mana pool. There's really no shortage of cards you can add to your deck to pay off the combo with Kadama, Togo, and a Bounce Land. And obviously, there are also creatures that can kill your opponents if you assemble your combo. Spitfire Legak and Tunneling Geopede both have the same landfall ability of dealing one damage to each opponent. Reckless Fireweaver says whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent, so that triggers off the Togo side of the combo with its rock tokens. Obviously, these combos are going to end the game in a hurry, so it's in your opponent's best interest to destroy your commander's early and often to keep them off the battlefield. In addition to payoff cards and other spells that you'd typically play in any gruel deck, you'll want to play lots of other creatures that demand to be destroyed on sight. This will improve the odds that your commanders will stick on the battlefield long enough for your shenanigans. First on that list, as far as we're concerned, is Shoot Swarm. This creature actually combos with Kadama, much like Togo does. It has a landfall trigger which creates a token, just like Togo. Though in this instance, it's either a 1-1 insect, or if you control six or more lands, a copy of Shoot Swarm. Even without an infinite loop of landfall triggers, Shoot Swarm can quickly get out of hand each time you play a land once you get to six. Another creature that can set off your opponent's alarm bells is Lotus Cobra. Its landfall trigger lets you add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So if it's on the battlefield when you combo off, it'll generate a bunch of mana. Assuming you're playing enough land in your deck, it'll provide enough mana each turn to develop your battlefield ahead of schedule and hopefully ahead of your opponents. Another great creature you can play in the Gruul colors is Rock. Radha, Heart of Keld. Radha has an ability that lets you look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may play lands from the top of your library. This helps ensure that you'll be making land drops each turn while also being able to plan your turns, knowing the next card you'll be drawing from your library. Radha also has the ability to sink extra mana. For four, a red and a green, Radha gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of lands you control. So if any of your opponents have a pinpoint removal spell, they may be very tempted to target Radha early in the game before those advantages add up. Of course, another powerful creature you can add to your deck is a Shia, Soul of the Wild. Its power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control, and non-token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. This means that any creature cards that enter the battlefield under your control will set off landfall triggers, and you can tap any creature cards to add a green mana to your mana pool. Extra mana production can pull you far ahead of your opponents, and help cast a relatively expensive commander like Kodoma of the East Tree. Since your non-token creatures are land cards, that also means they won't be affected by something like a Cyclonic Rift. That frustrating blue instant that's oh so popular in Commander. Rift only returns non-land permanence, so if your opponents are looking to reset the clock by casting Cyclonic Rift, they're going to need to deal with a Shia first. Another awesome creature that plays nice with the landfall themes is Elvish Reclaimer. This one mana elf has an ability for two mana, which lets you tap it, sacrifice a land to search your library for a land card, and put it onto the battlefield tapped. 
then of course shuffle your library. If you haven't yet drawn your Gruul Turf or Guildless Commons, Elvish Reclaimer can search it up. But before you've cast your commanders and are preparing for your combo finish, Elvish Reclaimer can search out all sorts of great utility lands. Lands such as Castle Garenbrig, which taps for two and double green to add six green mana that you can spend only to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creatures, which means you could cast Kadoma a turn early. War Room's ability reads for three mana, tap, pay life equal to the number of colors in your commander's color identity to draw a card. We can appreciate an extra card every once in a while. And classics like Kessig Wolf Run's ability for X and Red Green to tap to give target creature plus X plus zero and trample until the end of turn. With enough mana available, you can use this to push Kadama or Togo's power large enough to kill someone with commander damage if you need to. Hellkite Tyrant is a powerful dragon that is sure to make your opponents nervous, especially if they play an artifact-themed deck. For six mana, you get a 6-5 with Flying and Trample, which I believe is technically known as Flample, two forms of evasion that help ensure the ability that triggers from combat damage to a player kicks in, by which I mean gaining control of all artifacts that player controls. Even if none of your opponents are playing an artifact-heavy deck, chances are pretty good that there will be juicy artifact targets that you'd like your dragon to steal. Maybe it's something fancy like a Skull Clamp, or something simple like a Soul Ring. Hellkite Tyrant also has another ability. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 20 or more artifacts, you win the game! With your combo able to create as many artifact rock tokens as you'd like with Togo, Hellkite Tyrant can win the game with you. Hellkite Tyrant can just win the game for you on your next upkeep. Between Crop Rotation or Elvish Reclaimer, you can actually combo off at instant speed during your opponent's end step, or just flash in Tyrant with a card like Elvish Piper. There's numerous choices when you're in green, allowing you to pull out a win from out of nowhere. Probably one of your biggest problems to deal with in a combo deck is that of counter spells, which is why we in Gruul Combo love to run Vexing Shusher. This was recently reprinted in Double Masters, which brought its singles price down to a much more reasonable level. Vexing Shusher is a two mana 2-2 two -two Goblin Shaman that can't be countered, and its ability reads, for a red or a green hybrid, target spell can't be countered. If an opponent is hoping to keep your combo in check with counter spells, they're going to have to deal with Vexing Shusher first. You can even use the ability politically to win temporary allies. Doesn't have to be your spell that Shusher protects. If someone casts a spell that you don't mind resolving and another opponent targets it with a counter spell, you can wheel and deal to use Vexing Shusher's ability to ensure that spell resolves. What other destroy on site creatures would you put into your Kadama of the East Tree and Togo Goblin Weaponsmith partner deck to help ensure your commanders stick around the battlefield long enough to combo off? Let me know in the comments below. Special thanks to this video's script supervisor, Benny Smith, who saw this combo and thought, now there's a scary partner pair. To scare a playgroup with. Benny has been writing professionally about magic for 20 years. He's written the authoritative book about the format The Complete Commander, which you can find along with his columns about Commander every week just by following the links in this video's description. So if you'd like to hear more from Benny, be sure to check those out. So many partner pairs, so many threats. Special thanks once again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Remember, you can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns just by going to ridge.com forward slash community college or using code community college when you follow the link in this video's description. Check it out, Ridge.